You know, I get sick of seeing these videos on goddamn Twitter of dipshits protesting on freeways and highways and blocking roads, and they get all pissed off when somebody comes driving towards them, you know, in the very place in society where you are supposed to fucking drive, and they try to block the lanes, and the person keeps coming, and they try to avoid hitting them, but sometimes they almost hit somebody, and then the crowd, they try to jump the person and smash into their vehicle, and then they have to drive away because they're scared for their life. Or you get people that come to a stop and they start hucking things at their vehicle for coming within even fucking spitting distance from them where they don't fucking belong because it's a roadway, not a sidewalk, not a parking lot, not anywhere else. And they fucking drive slowly to get out of there because they're scared for their lives and some fat, stupid bitch gets run over trying to block the vehicle and then you inevitably get everybody like, oh my God! And one dumb bitch in the background like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's a car, it's the road, you're a person, a pedestrian, more importantly, where you don't fucking belong standing, and a car ran over you because you approached him in a threatening and aggressive manner. What the fuck did you think was going to happen when you stood there with your angry, stupid fucking face and your picket sign shouting shit at somebody that's just trying to get from point A to B, and you make them feel like their life is in jeopardy? Because once upon a time ago, a trucker got pulled out of his fucking rig in L.A. during the riots and got beat to fucking death. So maybe, just maybe, you stupid liberal cunts that want to change the world one desperate act of fucking defiance after another while standing in places that will get you fucking killed but want all this sympathy, you all need to take a course in critical thinking skills. Seriously, if you're going to protest, do it at fucking City Hall and then maybe the news trucks will show up to see what your fucking cause is instead of them showing up to see what fat, stupid, non-binary bitch got her fucking foot run over by a Chevy Tahoe. And everyone's sitting there like, hey, you're fucking stupid. They're like, don't call us stupid. We need change in society. We're trying to be warriors for the oppressed. No, you're fucking idiots. And you don't understand how Darwinism works. Car against person. Car wins literally every time. Unless that person is either Hancock from the movie of the same name or the Incredible Hulk that doesn't exist. Do you see my point? These are fictional fucking characters. You are a person, a car will kill you, even if it's just idling and it rolls over you slowly. You're going to get dragged, it's going to suck ass, you're going to end up with a fucked up face or broken limbs, or maybe in a wheelchair where you belong, and then you can be one of those people that sits in a rest home, staring at a TV with a blanket on your non-functioning fucking legs, with your pathetic little atrophy-muscled legs going, yeah, it used to be me out there, trying to change the world. You got what you fucking deserve, and anybody that gets hurt protesting while standing on the goddamn road, well, guess what? Fuck off, it's your own fault.